How's it going, boys? Today on Brawl, we are playing one of the strongest decks that has ever been made. And that is obviously Tefari, Hero of Dominaria. That's right, boys. Tefari is finally gonna get his revenge. Revenge for what? Well, the guy has the ability to travel in time, and Tupac's still dead. Or slavery. Pick one, honestly, doesn't matter at this point. Also, does slavery even exist in the lore of Magic the Gathering? I have never heard of it, and that's stupid, because how can you have these many multiverses and none of them have decided that, hey, free labor is kind of cool. Very, very strange and ominous. In any case, we're going to be playing Tefari, and another Tefari, and there's also another Tefari somewhere here. And our victory condition is, well, most people are just going to concede because there's nothing you can do against this emblem, but some people will not. And then that, uh, that's when uh, this Tefari comes in, and there's also somewhere the Wandering Empress, who also makes tokens. That's right, boys. It's If, if people don't surrender, it's going to be a struggle. A struggle? Snuggle. In any case, 40 lanes to be specific, 3.1 average mana cost. Not even that bad for, honestly, a Brawl deck. Those typically range from 3 to 5, and most of them kind of land on 4. But yeah, with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack and see what happens. Because, well, I have played the party in Brawl before, and I do think the strongest deck by far is the two-cost blue legendary dude that draws you a card whenever you play a spell and it reduces the cost of things by one. I do think that is the strongest one, because that thing is just insane, okay? You can, you can double up draws so easily. And by the way, I'm not using any of the double up draw cards. I have an aggressive amount of uh, counter spells and vrats here, but I do not possess a lot of the typically strongest blue and white cards that you would see. Uh, no Shark Typhoon, no Metal Sculpting. I'm even missing a couple of counter spells. And look at this, it's already taking one minute to find an opponent. Why? Because Wizards understands that we are degenerates. And the moment we find a match, it's gonna be a draw. Because reasons, that's how, how, how it typically works. Oh wait, no, this is a Yohad deck, so maybe it's not gonna be a draw. Not even a draw, I like it. In any case, a River's Rebuke, very cool. And no more lies. Going first, even. Hmm. So, yeah. Let's see how it uh, goes. If we don't get, you know, more than two lands, it's gonna be bad. But if we don't get more than two lands, we also know that Wizards is doing Wizards things. So, what do I do here, I wonder? Oh, yeah. I don't actually have any special lands. I just have basic white and blue lands, which hopefully does something magical to the mana curve. Now, I don't have any idea what that would be. I'm testing it out. If it doesn't work out, we're gonna do, just do the typical stuff of uh, press blue mana, press white mana, and then just put all the cards that have a shared mana source. And then I'm gonna hope that it works out. But, to tell you the truth, I actually have absolutely never had any. I can probably cleanse the mind here, honestly. Not gonna lose out on much. Inexhaustible Tide, very cool. That's free real estate. Uh, but yeah, I have experimented a lot in my uh, my time with... Eee, that's that's pretty good for you, Onichan. How about you just, you know, don't or something? In any case, okay, okay, I like that, I like that. We have counter spells for days, which is not bad. Wash away works for countering planeswalkers. Not sure what I want to do here. Maybe counter uh, enchantment so I can drop the tide. Maybe that's definitely an option. Humans, you don't say. At least he didn't ha uh, drop the Covenant of Souls. Uh, but yeah, something that I have noticed in some decks, you can always get away from not using any special lands, not even du uh, double color cheap uh, common lands. And your ma mana curve is always gonna be, whoa, whoa, cheap, listen. That's a little bit... S this is one of the cards I chose to not use. One, because, well, as you can see, 
it is a Nagari presenting a, 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 a rhystic studies, not even the real word. And as you can probably tell, this Naga is, well, let me just say, boys, you know, it's, it's a little bit lustful. I, I, I don't want that in my life, you know, I, I, I'm a good boy. Wait, it's a, yeah, it's a creature. I can just do this. It's fine, considering this wasn't cast from the hand. Easy counter spell, boyos. Okay, now we have the advantage. Admittedly, I could have went for the absolute zero, but, well, well, it's gonna be probably fine, I'm kinda assuming. But, then again, it would have... Ugh. Dude, you, can you just, like, I mean, I'm sorry, can you just stop? You're being very annoying. And annoying. And more annoying. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is good. I me likey. Me likey a lot. Okay, so do this. I can always shuffle him back if I feel like it. I honestly think we already won. Because again, we're gonna be playing against Jorad decks and, you know, all of that gunk shit. And, well, these decks are complete trash against counter spells. Most, most of the time at the bare minimum. So yeah, and we still have a Fumigate, we have Passive Draw. This guy, this guy, listen, this guy is just gonna probably give up. I would give up at least. Huh, there's nothing but that, huh? Okay, can't play anything, I'm assuming. Ooh, Tails End, eh? That's kinda neat. You can actually do this and still be in a good position. I don't know, I don't know. Ah, fumigate it. YOLO 420, blaze it. Good, should be good enough, should be honestly good enough. Again, I'm drawing cards, he is not. I think everything- Whoa, Chief! Chief, please! What, what do you mean you're gonna do that? That is illegal! Well, to be fair, I'm still winning pretty hot, so illegal- Illegal can go bite it. Can't drop the land, but that doesn't honestly matter right now. Untap the two blue sources, and we're absolutely off to the races. We can drop the tide. We still have rivers review, can well, a lot of stuff. I'm surprised that this guy had something like slip out the back. Questionable. Questionable. Typic you, uh, typically, you slip in through the back. Oh, but, you know, that's just me, and I'm a degenerate. Said no one ever, because your mom thinks I'm a very charming gentleman. She thinks that because I have abilities with tongue. Man, I'm good with that shit. Anyway, I think we went off course with the things. But your girlfriend's probably asking more, which is understandable. If I was a woman, I would want to fuck myself also. Also, it would be extremely more easy. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Did you just skiver me on each one? My man, what are you doing with your life? In any case, that's where Farewell comes in pretty heftily, not gonna lie. Okay, so what are my ch uh, opportunities? Well, press the Fari button, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just do this. And then I, yeah, use the Tide and set up for a better future. Doesn't seem that bad, but not gonna lose too much, I think. And yeah, let's just do it like this. Should be good enough. Tails End should prevent me from, well, you know, seeing an uh, unlikely fate or whatever. And if he just plays Gerard, it's pretty bad for him, not gonna lie. So, we have been set up for a great, great future. Also, it feels so good knowing that you're gonna demolish someone who is disgusting Filthy Gerard player, okay? It just feels good. It feels just. Oh boy, does it feel just. Because remember, every Gerard player and Golos player deserves exactly what's happening. So yeah, let's see what he does. <laughs> he attacks death. That's hilarious. Well, I guess it does make sense as a play, but... Well... You're kind of leaving yourself open, my man. You're kind of leaving yourself a little bit open. Anyway, take the stuff. 
Take the stuff, do the faithful mending, proliferate nothing because reasons. And then let's see what we can actually do here. Let's see what we can actually do. Well, that's the easiest choice of my life if I had a choice even there. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Okay, so we're definitely doing this. Because this is probably our only chance to hit artifacts. Good. Do we want to hit graveyards? No, I only have a graveyard, so I guess this is as good as it gets. Anyway. A perfect turn, if I do say so myself. And, well, there is actually one negative thing about this. Hmm. But I do have a tied up, so... Yeah, this is about the level of IQ I would expect from a Gerard player. Yeah! Reznor54. Listen, Reznor. If you're watching, you need to watch more, because you are clearly lacking yet, my son. You need a little bit of that. Did I just... Yeah, I did. Ugh. Wait a minute, Reznor. This is important. Okay, listen, Reznor. You're still lacking a little bit. I would have never made a mistake like that, because I know exile effects very well. Because you see, exile effects personally traumatize me, because I hate the, uh, the fact that someone can just lose... Well, you know, something. someone can do something that makes me lose all of my cards. It is disgusting. Ah, shit, he actually had that. Ah, uh, it's still good enough, I think. Hmm. Oh, Act of God. Well, hello there. Hey, actually, what can I even do with this? Uh-oh. Well, I guess I'm just gonna draw a little bit extra in that case. Not a big deal. Untap, ooh, supreme verdict, you say. Very supreme, a very verdict. So now he needs to do everything here. If I'm lucky, I can tails in something, right? Uh, yeah, sure, actually, that's really... Wait, why does it have a red text around it? Huh. I thought it's uncounterspillable for some reason. I, I got so confused. Anyway, considering he can't... Wait, what do you do again? You probably mill yourself, right? Yeah, it's good enough. Anyway, we got the Brad of God and a Narset. And that is very good for us, for obvious reasons, I guess. And then we have also Tafari. Oh, he draws that. Eh, this is still fine for us. But, uh, even if he can play anything, I think we're absolutely, you know, fine. In any case, that's Proliferate, and I think we have won. A pretty fun game, gotta say. But that's what happens when you win and you play extremely overpowered, well, blatantly overpowered, not just extremely overpowered decks. Make no mistake, this deck is absolutely filthy when it comes to its power level. And... Hmm, I actually can't. Well, in that case, I'm gonna use you, because, well, you look the worst as a cot, so th th there we go. In any case, no counter spells, but I feel that that's not even necessary at this point. Let's see, can I cast three spells next turn? Eh, big doubt. One, two... Actually, no, wait, it's possible with a good Narset draw. And if we get a good Narset draw, we can just activate the Fari's Emblem. And it's pretty Joker. I like that. I like that. Oh, wow, look at that. You cast... cast wait, uh, no, 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 no. I could still actually activate Faithful Mending this turn. So I can... Oh, that's his whole, whole turn, eh? Okay, I like that. That means I can definitely activate the Fari's Emblem next turn. Oh, I almost... Uh, dude, I almost forgot that. That would have been big scare, big scare. Oh, and there we have Baral, Chief of Compliance. This is probably 100% in my opinion, uh, by far the strongest commander currently, at least in this game. Well, at least in uh, historic Brawl. Completely insane, okay? This effect is just... Considering there are ways for blue just to double up the amount of cards it gets every turn it draws, it's it's pretty insane. There are so many cards that can do with that, by the way, it's not even close. But, close or not, you know what happens now? 
the body emblems, boys. That's that's what happens now. They can actually can I actually do this plus. Oh, I can. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. Not that it honestly matters at this point. But hey, also I'm proliferating this so it has more HP, which is hilarious. But some of you didn't even know that that's how proliferation works on these things. Because it's a benefit to you. <laughs> the dumbest thing I have ever heard. And there you go. He sees the emblem. He scoops. Tefari, congratulations. You have punished a person that has probably absolutely no ties or no family historic ties to slavery. Good job. This is what we call being progressive. And boys, listen. I'm really progressive, okay? I am the most progressive person that you will ever see. I am fully down with the modern age progressiveness. I love segregation, you know? And there's nothing better than everyone having their own spaces where no one else can enter because it's a safe space for your race and everyone else gets pushed out. Mm. The modern age is so fucking... <laughs> Ah oh, man, America. That 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 one that one's on you. By the way, that's one on you. But I get the t token place in the Brazilian space safe because I do love fucking tacos. Okay, burritos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's good. It's good. Let's be real. But tacos are better. It's at boys. It is what it. Oh shit. This is annoying. Oof. Well, any moron playing aggro can actually kind of be a problem to us. And this is definitely what you call a problem. In any case, we do have swords to plows, which is kind of nice. Hmm. Well, it is an instant. He mulliganed. He mulliganed again? What is this sorcery? Also, I still don't feel like I should add any dull double-sided lands. <laughs> uh, also, we got Sagat the Splendor, which is kind of rare. So God Splendor's passive card drop plus healing. Very cool. Okay, and there we go. I'm not gonna allow you to have that much of an advantage. Because that is gonna turn into a massive advantage over time. As long as we find any land, by the way, even just white lands, we still should be pretty good. The fuck out of you. Huh. Okay. Oh, oh, wizards! Are you gonna punish me now not by not giving me lands? Look at this beautiful chaos wand. Oh, no, Skeever. LOL, my dude. Okay, maybe we still have a shot if we draw a land. Ooh, and we did. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, gonna play this instantaneously. Better value than anything else. Also, playing instants at sorcery speed is Giga Chad. They didn't make the rules, boys, just following them. Following them like a true absolute G, boys. Let's go. Oh, look at that. The weak get weaker. Play this, you filth. Because at this point, you're not doing anything. And now I'm just gonna... Actually, I'm just gonna Sagat Splendor this. It's passive life gain, so it's gonna be pretty good. But we're gonna know at some point, right? And I really want to start chaos wanding him because reasons. Okay. So the only question now is... Stuff. God, that's so annoying though. Okay. So what do I do now? I need another land. I can't really honestly chaos wand that well at this point. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. All my yeses because I need a land, boy. Daddy needs a land, and that's a bunch of lands, in fact. Okay, could have maybe Chaos Wanded, but, you know, that's a different problem for a different, well, time. Okay, everything gets Nuvud, that's very cool. Star Pupil, haven't seen this card in forever. It's actually a pretty decent card, look at the effect. When dies put, uh, put its counters on target creature you control, pretty decent, honestly. Could have a decent niche in historic aggro Selesnia counters. Oh, well, I say could, but will it? Who knows? In any case, sus that he didn't actually do anything here. Ooh, look at that Conflux Channeler. Man, we are almost... We are almost doing things. Okay. So, do you think he has the body's protection from his a-hole? 
Hopefully not, that would be devastating. And, are you fucking kidding me? The card, wow. That's probably the only card that saves him. Okay. I'm so dead. Okay, wizards. Okay, wizards. It's fine. It's fine. It's, 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 this is fine. You know, this is fine. You know, this, this is fine. Rigging the game this hard because otherwise you can't win against me. You know, I'll pick this as a win. I'll pick this as a great thing. To just boost up my ego. Because, you know, it does kind of feel good that you know that wizards literally cannot allow you to exist on your own. Because otherwise you're gonna bully too many people into self-deleting. Which is fine because they're magic players. And magic players have no value to society. Look at me. In any case, other than that... Well, actually, there's nothing besides that. That's, that's kind of the end-all, be-all in this situation. Anyway... Well played, wizards. You did it. You starved me for lands for three turns in a row, and then you just gave my opponent a perfect hand, and probably the only card that actually protected him. A very cool, said literally no one ever, you bunch of filthy cowards. Okay, opponents goes first. Very cool. Arcane Sigil. Nice. Well, it's Signant, but Sigil would be so much cooler, obviously. And... I think I ramp up. I think I definitely... Well, actually... I can counterspell his Brainstorm. Okay. Brainstorm is a pretty powerful card, but I don't like it. Because if there's one thing I don't want, is to actually be knowing which cards I'm gonna draw. Because if things change, and they definitely will, by the way... You drawing the cards and knowing that it's a dead draw probably for most of the time is kind of bad. Unless you need the lands and you put the lands dead, in which case it's kind of okay. But Brainstorm is probably the most painful to use card in the whole damn game. Also, do I Chaos want this guy now? I have a feeling I should. Anyway, let's wash away the tears. Nice. Okay, and at this point... Well, I could actually Midnight Clock. Depends on what I draw. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's Midnight Clock because we have make this appear. And that makes Chaos Wand a little bit better because there is a chance that we can play it for free at some point. Mind Stone. Very mind mindy. Cool. In any case, let's see if there's a make this appear. Nope. Okay, that means I have protection for the Chaos Wand. Very cool. I wonder if he's going to try and counterspell this. I think he will. He doesn't. <laughs> My man. That is a dangerous choice of life. Not going to... Are you? Are you for real? Wizards. I'm playing the most insanely overpowered deck of all time. You don't have to make my opponent not be able to play anything. I'm going to win anyway. I'll... Listen, if, if I'm playing some kind of jink, sure, give me those freebie wins. But I, I'm playing one of one, probably the second strongest game in Historic Brawl. You can kind of piss off with uh, giving me free wins because I'm going to farm those wins like there's no tomorrow anyway. I don't need your pitiful breadcrumb assistance, okay? Oh, man. We could have had fun, but nah. It happens, and now we're searching for a very long time. <laughs> By the way, I think these problems are occurring because I haven't put in special lands. Well, not anything but basic lands, which is kind of hilarious. I should probably put in... You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna do it. I'm gonna put in the command tower. Because chances are, with the, just the Command Tower, we should start a lot of games with the Command Tower in the hand. Because it would be our only special land. So, that's that's kind of cheeks, actually. There we go, the Command Tower, and yeah, good. Oh, actually, no, we have also this. Yeah, screw that, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, perfect. Why did I have a seat of the Empire at random, I wonder? Misclick, maybe? 
In any case, now we have a one command Talbot, which means we have a pretty good chance of drawing it and a extremely higher chance than average on having it in the opening hand, which kind of cool. Should smooth out our mana curve at all points. But again, Wizards kind of just cares about giving or not giving you lands, which people, by the way, are obviously extremely pissed about, because even the dumbest mf -er will obviously notice that, wait a minute, me play three games in a row, all games have two lands, and you know, then we have that red deck that has 15 lands. Oh, look at that. That red player. Okay, that... It happens. Oh, look at this. Very cute. Well, Flux Channeler is a thing, and Primal Amulet is extremely OP, honestly. And I do have some draw spells. Not that draw spells are the biggest deal here, but, you know, some at least are. Going first also is kind of good. We don't have... A Ooh, Surveil, eh? We don't have... A I'm probably gonna just wait and counter Gerard. Ooh. Okay, the bobble is pretty good. Mishra's bobble, bobble is literally free real estate. It's insane. In any case, that's a forest. Very cute. Draw a card. Very cute. Aha. Uh -huh. River's Rebuke. This is what we had against the first uh, Gerard player. Very cool. And what do I do now? Do I actually drop this or do I seek knowledge? I drop this, it's moniker friendly. I have Rivers Rebuke and Primal Amulet. I probably shouldn't be worried about anything for now. The fuck are you? Ah, relatively fuckable. Okay. Untap another target permanent. Uh, yeah, I can probably do this. Untap two other uh, target legendary creatures. Wow. Not bad. Lord of the Healing House. Nice. Yeah, that's the kind of guilt I like. Anyway, speaking of anything else but my absolute insane inadequacies. Oh, you can untap lands. What are you? Add? Put two chart counters on, sacrifice, seek a card with highest one. Oh! Okay, I mean, I'm kind of free real estating here pretty hard. Also, Wizards, why do you want me to... Wait, 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 I'm just gonna play the Fari YOLO 420 Blaze it, boys. Why not? Flux Channel is uh, right there, ready for business. Okay. Feeling pretty good, plus I can Counterspell, which is even more insane. And I can seek knowledge, honestly, which is, again, even more insane. But do I Counterspell the Gerard, though? No, I don't actually. No, I do, I do. No, wait, do I counterspell the Gerard? He has all the colors. He can play Gerard. So, do I counterspell Gerard? Because. <sighs> yeah, I have to. Oh! Oh my, okay. Slightly unexpected, but that's fine. Wait, he can still play Gerard. <laughs> Ha <laughs> I should have counterspelled the Gilded Lotus. Oof. Huh? Oh my god, he can actually untap that. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Okay. I mean, that's, that's definitely insane. Oh, Shreldred. Well, they actually seek knowledge it is. Okay, because the proliferation happens, all of that good stuff, and I can rivers rebuke you like there's no tomorrow. Okay, this is not bad. Do I care about get lost? And eh, the land's kind of weaker at this point, but kind of, kind of absolutely slaying it, boyos. Do you have haste? No, good, 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 good. Don't, don't have haste. Haste is evil, as we all obviously know. Okay. Didn't get, didn't get a draw from that, but I guess that's absolutely honestly fine. In any case, a River's Rebuke, what's up? Still have the counter spell, so this is perfection at its finest. Again, literally all these greedy decks cannot deal with the party. It is so insanely overpowered. It's, it's actually quite hilarious. Uh, but yeah. 
Eight cards, probably can play one at max. Can't untap, can, can't do any uh, shenanigans. And my emblem is literally almost dead. The perfect crime doesn't exist, they say. I say, weakness of the flesh. Oh, yes. In any case, uh, you, the sacrifice of all seek. Ah, yeah, it's fine. Can he sacrifice doubles instantaneously? No, no. Well, if I counterspell this, which doesn't make too much sense, honestly, I'm still gonna just absolutely decimate this fool, and it's gonna be hilarious. Okay, in any case, it's over. It's Joker, and that's effectively all she wrote. Okay, proliferate a little bit, it doesn't even matter. Uh, can cast that, but again, what does it matter? I don't know. Ah, I think we win, boys. I think we win. Well, it's pretty obvious that we, we definitely win. That red... I'm pretty much sure I'm not playing against this guy the first time, by the way. Definitely have played against him before, but not in Brawl. I think in Historic. I think he was actually playing red. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. In any case, now I can exile his existence. By the way, if he wants to destroy the Fari, go ahead, the emblem's already there. You don't need more than one Tafari emblem to win the game. Especially when you're drawing two cards per turn because of uh, a rando things like Sigar the Splendor. And, you know, now I'm just gonna do this, proliferate. We can flip the prim uh, Primal Amulet pretty fast. Also, oh, I'm not actually using Search for Araska, which probably is surprising. Oh, fun. What's the... Pay two life. Okay, that's that's fine by me, buddy. That's fine by me. By the way, fun fact. If you proliferate this thing on four counters, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't flip. And if you get six counters on the Primal Wellsprings with proliferation, you still need to cast a, uh, cast a spell to actually flip it. And when it flips, it's gonna have the excess counters on the land, which is hilarious, I guess, or completely normal. Depends who's asking, because a lot of stuff I do is illegal. And that's the dub, boys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And people tell me I need to get good. Please, I can play a method that can absolutely just jack off myself as much as it uh, as as it necessary. Okay, it is what it is. The hell is this? Huh? Raccoon back wizards, please. I I I I I'm a, a man child, but I will still not accept this. Anyway, this is Quizzer Sensei. Thanks for watching. Bye.